Beetlejuice fans, and there are many, are cheering on the new Broadway adaptation of the 1988 Tim Burton film classic about an outrageous ghost trying to scare away the new occupants of a dead couple's home. We're here at the Winter Garden Theater to cheer on this devilishly dark new musical on opening night. a very uh, universal concept, which is that we all die. People come in thinking that this is going to be an escape from their life, but really what we're doing is going, we want to just remind you all that life is short, death is long, so why waste the time you have here by trying to live in the future you don't know what's coming, or trying to live in the past that you can't change anyway. I love that it features a strong young female lead. I love that it deals with teen grieving, which we don't see. It's about finding a family in whatever way you can. To have this girl who feels like nobody gets her, nobody loves her, and then to find a whole new family, I, I love that part of the story. I love this as a story about outsiders who are, you know, desperate to connect, and I think, you know, anyone can sort of relate to that. I love Beetlejuice because even though it's a show that's almost entirely obsessed with death, it's really about life, why life's worth living. The audiences are coming in expecting something. We should not deprive them of that. However, we shouldn't just do the movie on stage. The iconic stuff is there. It's there for you. And also, I think we've expanded a lot on the characters from the movie. You get to see just more of what their story is. They're gonna get every single thing they crave, just not in the way they expect to get it. Name a movie that's like Beetlejuice. You really can't. And I think what we've done, hopefully, is, is made a theatrical equivalent of that. What can you go see that's like Beetlejuice? Nothing, that's for sure.